They teach you geometry in school so that when you are a surgeon and there is a skin defect that must be removed, you start by drawing a circle around the defective area with diameter AB and radius CB. Then you extend CB equidistant to a point P which will be the pivot point of the skin flap. Now on a piece of thread anchored at P, mark the distances of A and C to help draw an outer circle from point A with radius equal to 3CB and an inner circle starting from point C with a radius equal to 2CB. From point P, draw a line at 45 degrees to BP that will intersect the first a circle at point X and the inner and outer circles at points D and D respectively. Start another circle at X with radius slightly less than CB. This outlines the primary flap that will be carved out to cover the original skin defect and in the process create a new skin defect. But don't worry because you will now make a secondary flap to cover that secondary defect. Draw a circle from D with radius slightly less than CB but this time also create a triangular extension that can be closed up without the formation of giant dog ears. If done correctly, thanks to this bilobed skin flap you will have successfully redirected tension vectors by borrowing skin laxity from surrounding areas.